it's been a long while since I sat down and I've talked to you. Oh, we got a lot of new base now. We got a lot of people coming in. And I'm truly grateful for that. I'm truly grateful for people jumping into this movement, you know. It's, it no, it's no longer like an in-between the BS movement. It's a free our kids movement. You know, in-between the BS, you know, that's just me getting in-between all the bullshit, man. The ideologies, the separations, the Hispanics, the Latinx, the, the homies, the paisanos, the nativism. You know, brown is brown, bro. Plain and simple. Brown is brown. But if your ancestry is to the Americas, North America, Central America, South America, Canada, you know, Puerto Rico, Cuba, you native, man. You are a native and the only true indigenous original to this land. At the end of the day, that is my message. And Free Our Kids is a movement trying to push that narrative and message. You know, the reason why the R is in capital It's because it stands for revolution. But a revolution of the mind. Because it takes a revolution of the mind to clearly begin to see the true revolution. Like my brother Jag says, you must kill the colonizer in your mind first. We've come too far as a people to destroy ourselves. What they want is why they push all that hate. It's why they push all that propaganda. So they can turn around and say, see, we told you those brown people were savages. But we know who the savages are. We know what they did and what they continue to do since the day they've landed. They rape, they murder, they steal children, imprison and kill our men since the day they've landed. Ain't nothing changed. Look at right now. We got these concentration camps and the stealing of our children. We got indigenous women, black women, colored peoples disappearing at a high rate. We got men and children locked up in their juvenile halls, prisons, and youth authorities. And now they're building more concentration camps, these FEMA camps. They want to build another one right now in IE to put more brown people, people who look like you and me. I'd like to share with you guys a little bit of what Free Our Kids does and what it's about. Free Our Kids started off with a hashtag. Then I made a music video. We dropped the first single on Thanksgiving Day. The next day, me and my brother, Indigenous 1492, Inca Rich, went across the border, November 25th, 2018. But it just so happened that that day, the caravan came in full force. They shut down the border, and they kept us on that side. And we ended up running with the caravan. Not by choice got pushed into the caravan and next thing you know we ended up running through the riverbed we told the border patrol we told the u.s military we told the individuals that we were american citizens but they didn't care so therefore we had no choice but to run with the caravan and all that shit you've seen in the news with the military shooting tear gas yes it happened and me inca rich we're there. And we were running. Choking. Off the tear gas. Holding children in my arms. As they shot off tear gas. Into crowds of women and children. Yes, there were men there. But the majority of people were women and children. Migrants. Fleeing. From their homes. From their countries. Because our country. This land, the U.S. government, for decades, centuries, has been destroying and ripping our continent, our lands, apart. From that moment, when I was being tear gassed and holding children in my arm, when I was arrested and sat in their 
jails next to our brothers and sisters who were migrants being called animals, savages, roaches, rats. And as we heard them speak to the woman on their walkie-talkies who were working with them, talking about, let's go get a beer so I can grab your ass. These things that I was hearing and witnessing from brown people committing these atrocities to our own people is when Free Our Kids really gave birth. It's when I said that our children deserve better than this. It all started off one day with the Woman March. Yeah, I went to the Woman March, bro. I've been to a lot of marches. And I've seen the politics in these nonprofit organizations that was a bunch of bullshit. All they do is push the narrative of what these Democrats and Republicans want them to push. I've been there, I've walked there. You know, I connect with a lot of people maybe because of the life that I've lived. You know, who is in between the BS, right? Well, I'm an ex-con. I went to prison for seven years for crimes that I did not commit. The victim said it was not me. The firearm did not have my fingerprints. But because of white juries and white judge and a white district attorney out of Pomona Court, I sat in a cell for seven years for crimes I did not commit. I read them. I taught myself many things while I was in there. After becoming educated by reading and teaching myself psychological warfare, propaganda, and understanding the corrupt system, the only way to come back and beat them properly is to speak my truth, to speak our truth. I was released at 26 years old, and I lived life. Something happened in life that brought me back to a point where it was time for me now to enter the scene and speak our truth. What is my truth? Who is IBS? As I said, an ex-con, a drug addict. I was sprung off of meth and coke for years, alcohol, caught in that trap of kids who come from where I come from, get trapped into the gangs, the drugs, the addictions, the hustle. Yeah, I was there. I lived that life, a childhood soldier. Running around at 13, 14, 15 years old, busting and ducking bullets. I'm saying this because I know when I speak, I don't just talk. I'm not just an individual on the sidelines talking about what needs to be done. Because I've marched. I've walked among the streets. I've walked among the prisons. I've walked amongst lifers. I've walked amongst the children suffering on the streets. I've walked amongst my people when they're trying to come across with the caravan. I'm not saying just to say. I'm saying because I've been living witness to what our people live through. And I said enough is enough. And not only for our brown people across this border. With our people in Syria, Palestine, Yemen, because brown is brown. If you're paying attention to the atrocities that these people that we choose to allow to continue on telling us what to do and how to live our lives. All they've done is murder and kill people who look like you and me. Our black brothers and sisters. Now, I'm not against white people. But I am for brown and black peoples. There's a difference. Because I believe that our children have the right to live. I believe every child deserves the same shot. And the only way for this to happen is for us to get involved and help our youth. So that is what Free Our Kids is about. Free Our Kids is about helping our youth. I run a direct to garment printing system, right? I print clothes. With the little money that I make off of that, I help artists. I don't speak for all artists, but I help the artists that I work with not get taken advantage of.
you know, some artists have kids, some artists got babies on the way. And they're very talented people. And we've decided to come together and use our craft to help build our communities. So any proceeds that we receive, out of the proceeds, I take care of them. And 30% of whatever proceeds are left, I give back to the community. I don't like to say these things out loud, but apparently it needs to come out. Because I will not allow free our kids to be misled in any way of what it is about. See, free our kids is not only for our migrant children being held in concentration camps. It is to help build our communities from my soccer clubs to the boxers that we help to other communities and organizations that we donate money to. And I say we because I don't do this by myself. We have a team and that team is solid. We love our people and we understand what needs to be done. We're taking matters into our own hands to help and build for us, to help people who look like us. Because if we do not begin helping us, no one will. So that is what Free Our Kids is about. Free Our Kids, when you buy clothes from me, you're helping our kids. See. We don't sit on the sideline and ask for money. We're out there on the ground doing what needs to be done. We're not just talking about burning down a system and fighting. We're actually out there on the ground helping our children, speaking for our people, and doing the work. We are building. We are coming out of our pockets to help build. And once again, our pockets because I don't do this alone now I don't talk much about my relationship you know that's supposed to be discreet right but I don't hide my partner because without my partner none of this could happen my partner is my rock we sacrifice together she takes care of the majority of the family with bills her the money that I come across and make whether it's through music, clothing, or whatever it may be. We give it back to our people. So it's a team effort. Me and my wife sacrifice to try to help and build for our people. And I want to make it clear that Free Our Kids is something that I've begun, that I created, and that I've built from the ground up. And I've been honored enough to have and be surrounded by so many good, solid brothers and sisters. You guys hear our message. But if you want to know more, come on out to our events. Come have a conversation with us. Because together we can change our world. Together we can build a nation. I can't do this alone. I need your help. I really need you guys' help, man. The dark times are coming. And they're gonna keep getting darker until we rise up and unify. So now that you know who IBS is and what it is that I do, I want you to understand one thing. If you ask me what I live for, how we live for the future of all our children. And I can't do this alone. Please, please, help me, help us, allow me, trust me, trust us, we're not asking for donations, just support, come out to our venues, get our merchandise, and trust that we will build, trust and what we are doing. I'm transparent and wide open like a book. My hand is extended to all brothers and sisters. My name is Jonah. IBS. Free our kids.